Hello guys, welcome back to Between the Ropes TV. It's time for another one of our prestigious end of the year awards. Now, this time it's promoter of the year. And I'll be honest, we've heard whispers of Frank Warren, Eddie Earn. It's the latest round. They both want this award. The Americans are kicking off. It's chaos, but we can only give it to one. Ray, I'm coming to you first. Give me your promoter of 2022. I've, I've considered everything. I'm going to go for Ben Shalom. Um, I'm just going to go for him because of the the context and the real... Um, the fact that he put the all-female card on, it was originally scheduled, we know, for September 11th. Unfortunately, it was a passing of, of, of Queen Elizabeth. That couldn't be helped. And he, and he rescheduled that. Um, it was practically the same card. I like that card, not just because it was a historical female card, but you got to work with many different promoters on that card and pull it all together um, on what we believe to be um, overall for Sky on a less on, on a lesser budget um, than originally what was given to, to her on Sky, allegedly. So um, I've got to give props to Ben Shalom because, um, you know, that, that was some doing. No, I can definitely see where you're coming from. And I know we were talking sort of in our uh, group chat and off camera about potential discrepancies now and around the budgeting. I suppose that will come to light probably over the next couple of years as and stuff as and when stuff unfolds, sorry. But no, Ben Shalom's had a great year and he was definitely in my uh, thinking for this just because for me, one point, which I'd agree with, I think you have said, but also for me, when you think 18 months ago, Sky had nothing, Eddie Hearn had took the stable, he took 10 years of hard work over to the zone. If you think from where, you know, in June 2021, where Sky were and Boxer were to where they are now, it's incredible. I know that's a slightly longer cycle, but still incredible nonetheless. Yas, I'll come to you. Who's your promoter of the year, mate? Well, <clears throat> for me, it was between two people. It was either um, Sky and um, Matchroom. I'm going to go with um, Eddie Hearn. And the reason for that is because um, I think despite the way things have gone for him in terms of like some of his main commodities, like AJ and Canelo taking losses, I feel as though um, he's still given us you know, good value and he's produced big nights um, consistently. So I think for him, um, that's 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 the promoter of the year for me. No, 100%. Well, I mean, again, it's only fitting, but it comes to me for the final vote. We will share this around, actually. I didn't think about this. But for me, it's Eddie Hearn. Again, as I said, Ben Shalom, you know, what they've done has been incredible. But for me, and I'm going to sound negative, so I'm waiting for some backlash in the comment section. But I know I said it to you boys. It's been not a great year for boxing full stop. I think, you know, the biggest fights that we wanted on January the 1st this year, we've not seen any of them or very many of them. I suppose there's a couple of the women's fights you could say, yes, we've seen. Uh, but I just think what Eddie Hearn's done on a global scale with Matchroom, you know, they've launched in so many different territories. Australia, obviously, as we've seen recently. As British fans, we've definitely suffered. There's been less fight nights and also less quality, but that was always going to happen with, you know, Sky and Boxer coming in so aggressively. They've took a fair few, like Bill and Smith, Liam Smith. You know, they've took a few of uh, Sky and Matchroom's probably headlining or nearly headline names. But I think how they've managed it and what they've done growing on a global platform has been nothing short of brilliant. So I suppose it is Eddie Hearn. It, once again, he won it last year as well. But last year, in fairness, I think it was a shutout. Uh, whereas this year, Sky and Ben Shalom have definitely closed the ground. So I think it'll be interesting to see where we end up next year. Guys, plenty more of these videos coming. Let us know in the comments section who your promoter of the year is and why. And join us on the next one.